Hi, welcome to the Native Wildman channel, your host Sean Catfish Wilson speaking. And today, I'm going to share with you my knife. Now, you all have seen this knife plenty of times. It's another catfish tip. Okay. Oh, got some people out there hot rotting. Okay, and the tip of the day is you examine your line for phrase. Which I can barely see my cell, cell phone screen because of the sun. A little bright out, so... Take and cut off the old line. Save your hook. Okay. And it's always a good idea to want to retie your knots. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Okay, and we're gonna uni knot this. Three, four, five. Six. I like to go six times. Maybe it's a little bit more than six, but oh well. Cut your tag end off. And what I used to do is I just used to use the main line for my leader line but now I'm going to use this monofilament Berkeley Trilene 40 pound test big cat What's quinci which coincidentally is stronger than my main line my main line's 30 pound fire line Unspool about a little bit, almost two foot. Give yourself room to tie your knots. Okay. Take and stick your hook through the eyeball of the hook. This style hook, it, you want to snell it. So we're going to snell the hook on. Which is really easy. You just do a uni knot. One, 
two, three, four, Okay. Give myself a little bit more line. Go a little bit further down on the shank. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Start to cinch it up. Don't cinch it up all the way. Then you want to lubricate it with spit. Spit will work. Then you make sure it's nice and tight. What I like to do is um, kind of see where it's all bent right there. I took it and clamped it in my teeth and pulled it tight um another thing do not cut fishing line with your teeth especially the bigger stuff it will ruin your teeth it'll chip it okay <clears throat> now that we got that done take and go through we will leave approximately a two foot leader. Again, uni knot. Two, three. Four, five, six, again, lubricate it. Pull it tight. And cut off the tag end. Take and stick the extra long tag end in your pocket so you don't leave a lot of fishing line on the ground and Just take both your tag ends and stick them in your pocket. I like to roll them up a wee bit. And the reasoning for doing this is if the line is frayed and you catch fish with it, when you catch fish with it, they got little sharp teeth that will fray your line. And you don't want your line frayed if you're going after big fish then I've got a two ounce no roll sinker river sinker rod I'm using is an ugly stick tiger from 1999 with an Akuma reel. The reel's not from 1999 of course. I had an Eagle Claw originally because that's what I could afford at the time. And it really that Eagle Claw back when I bought it it was a decent reel. 
And then I've got my Abu Garcia and my other ugly stick right there. <clears throat> so, anyways, the tip is always check your line, your knots and leaders to make sure there's no frays. And after you catch a few fish, it's a good practice to retie it. I'll I'll admit sometimes I don't because. You get in a hurry and just want to get your line out there and fish, especially when they're biting real good. But it's it's cost me a few times. I've lost fish because of it. So always remember, check your lines for phrase, retie your knots after every three or four fish. Especially if it's real big fish. If you catch real big fish, yeah, you want to tie your knots probably right afterwards. So, okay. Peace and long life, my friends.